In this video, I'm going to show you a route combination that you can use whenever you really don't know what to call. This is also a concept that you can use that I think you're going to be really surprised in how effective this route actually is against a lot of different coverages. Now, if you're new to the channel, it's your first time watching one of my videos, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. We post videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better, hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that if you were, today we're talking about the trips tight end formation out of the New England Patriots playbook. I've got a kind of a special little route concept that I want to share with you. And if you want to learn more about this offense or if you just want to take your game to the next level, you can actually get all of my Madden 22 ebooks. Trips tight end happens to be one of them. But you can get all of those ebooks by joining our Patreon. Every ebook that I've released and every ebook that I'm going to release in this season is available in my Patreon membership. As it sits right now, we have 14 offensive and defensive ebooks available over there, as well as several exclusive tips, updates, all of that stuff. So if you want to get better at this game, like I said, join that Patreon. There'll be a link in the description for you to be able to do that. Now, what I wanted to do today is talk to you about a concept or a route that I think most people have kind of slept on, to be honest. I'll be honest with you, I've slept on it myself. Um, and that is the seam, uh, like the, the running back streak route. And how we're gonna show this concept, you can actually do this um, out of a lot of different plays. But the one that we're gonna show in this video uh, is the play curl flat because of what we can do from a spacing perspective on the back side of the field. Now what I like to do with this play, I actually like to uh, run this with the ball on the left hash. But you could do this on either hash if you want to. What we're going to do here is a real simple hot route. We're going to curl the inside slot, and then we're going to go ahead and streak the running back. So you see, this is exactly what the play looks like. At the snap of the ball, what you're going to notice here is that as soon as that running back cuts up field, if they don't user that, you're going to pretty much be able to throw that no matter what. Now, the cool part is you would think, well, if they just man it up, that's probably good enough. And I'll tell you that sometimes that does work, but a lot of times what you can do is go ahead and low ball that, just like that right there, and you'll be able to hit this running back streak consistently against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, in order to show this a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and flip the play so that the linebacker is uh, on the running back side is manned up on him. And what you'll see here again, just simply low ball it, and see how I can click on, and they really just don't react to the ball. It basically turns this in to a back shoulder throw against man coverage, and then against zone coverage, it's really coming down to, can we just fit this ball into the windows? So you see here, you know, here it, we can't, but what we can do is you see how that running back streak will pull back those outside thirds and I can hit that corner route. Notice that I'm gonna be able to hit this corner route for, I'm on the 20 yard line. If you just watch this real quick here, you're gonna notice that this corner route is gonna run, you know, 40 to 45 yards uh, over the top. And as you can see, it's a huge, huge dot. It's going to be very difficult for someone to play 30 yard clouds i found especially let's say that for example they're playing some cover two coverage on you well most of the time when somebody plays a cover two coverage you're going to see a purple you're going to probably see two purples and a deep third so it looks something like this and then they're going to use her under the middle well this curl and this is a great route combination for the mabel coverage by the way but the curl on the left is going to hold their users they have to kind of make a decision in this one they decide the running back so i'm going to deliver the curl and as you can see, it gets wide open. Now, as I was talking about that man coverage stuff, one of the things that you'll notice about this play the more you run it is it is a little bit weak against man to man. So how I like to reconcile that or how I like to recommend people to deal with man to man, obviously the running back, but what if they run to the running back? Then what we wanna do is when this inside slot cuts, we just wanna low ball it, secure catch it, cut it off. As you can see, we're gonna keep the chains moving. So we're able to beat cover two we're able to beat uh, cover three, and now I'm gonna show you this concept against cover four. And I'll say cover four, one of the easier coverages to beat with this, and the reason why is because these curls uh, will do such a good job. Also notice that the streak here actually got kind of a weird animation from Gronk. Let me show you that one more time. This uh, corner route streak concept right here on the right side, it typically will do a decent job at beating cover four. Obviously, I can hit my running back in the seam, just like that. And then if I wait on that route to the tight end, a lot of times that route to the tight end is going to become open. I'll show you here. Just wait on it, pass like that down and away. You're going to click on an aggressive catch it. Notice how I get that little rocket catch style of animation. Now, on the back side of this, it's really, really important. Okay, If they are running a cover four, you're really going to dominate them on this left side. What you're going to notice here is if they jump down to the flat, you're going to take your curl on the outside just like that. 
and keep your chains moving. You have to remember that most people, whenever they run a cover four, they are going to be using one of these two defenders. So let's say, for example, they're using, um, let's say, for example, they're using this guy and they decide that they want to go help out on the running back. Well, again, we're in that situation we were talking about before where that seam is wide open. We just take our curl and as you can see, we keep the chains moving. Now, another scenario that you could be in is that they would be in cover four. But now let's say, for example, that they want to kind of overcommit to stopping the trip side of the formation here. Well, that's where your running back route is going to become very handy. You're just going to pass like that up the seam. And as you can see, you're just kind of playing this game with their user in the middle of the field um, and forcing them to have to worry and respect that. Now, like I said, I think cover four drop does the best because of how those outside quarters can sometimes help with the corners. But what you'll also notice is this right here. Like in this situation right here, I just wait on this. I take my flat and I get about three to five yards. It's actually a positive game for me. And the reason why is because we just kind of keep the offense on schedule. I think where most Madden players, myself included, make a lot of mistakes this year is they try too often to try to go for the big play instead of taking the, the little simple thing that their opponent's going to give them, you know, down in and down out. Now, one last little piece of this, if you're really wanting to kind of mess with the cover four and you're getting a lot of the cover four, my recommendation would be to go ahead and hitch that inside slot. And then what you can do, notice that's going to really hold those zones a little bit better and we can continue to kind of move the ball up and down the field. Like I said, this is just a simple little play. As far as how does this work against the blitz, I think that the running back streak is one of the most underrated routes in the game against the blitz. So let's say you get kind of a cover two uh, style of blitz. And then let's say, for example, you know, that you get something like this. Obviously, you can run this on both hashes. I will say the, the left side is going to work better if the ball is on the right side of the field. The right side is going to work better if the ball is on the left side. But you get something like this. Notice, I could just hit that streak, and we're taking 10 yards. We're just going to take 10 yards. They're going to blitz us up in zone. We're just going to take that every single time. Now, if they want to blitz us out of a man concept, and just to kind of illustrate what that would look like, all we're going to do is bring our safeties down and send them in pressure. So this is going to create kind of a, a simple you know, little blitzing concept here. But what you're going to notice is, let's say, again, they're blitzing us from man. Literally all we're going to be doing here, we're just going to low ball that, and then notice we get that back shoulder catch, and we keep moving the ball up and down the field. This is a very simple play that you can use that will literally beat every single defense with real simple, simple routes. It's nothing too complicated, but I must say it's one of the best zone beaters in the game. Combined with a great pressure beater, and you have a couple little reads against man, makes this a very effective concept. So I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my ebooks on all of this, go ahead and join the Patreon. We got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks available for you as soon as you join, as well as other ebooks we have planned that are going to be coming out in the future. Uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you're still watching, head on down to the description, check out that Patreon membership, and uh, go check out some of those ebooks. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you want to check out the Patreon, head on down to the description. There'll be a link down there that you can click.